Welcome back to week four of uh, EDO and part five of our exam preparation guide. This is a quick discussion about vertical imbalance uh, or how to prescribe and when to prescribe slab off. We're looking at page 21 in our exam prep uh, book four five and uh, looking at uh, our slab off example. Vertical imbalance um, in a patient's prescription only applies when there are uh, two factors in play. Uh, number one, uh, we have to have a fairly significant difference in uh, prescription from right to left. In our example, we're dealing with a plus one lens and uh, on the left side, a plus four. So right and left. It's as if we are looking at the patient. So uh, the first thing that has to be in play, a uh, large difference, uh, more than uh, two diopter difference between the right uh, and the left eye. Uh, in addition, uh, we also have to be a multifocal patient. The reason why that is, is if our patient is just single vision uh, and they are looking through the optical center of the lens, uh, they will not uh, experience any vertical imbalance. Um, that's because uh, when a patient of single vision uh, looks around, uh, they're going to turn their head to stay within the optical center or the best part of the prescription. However, when we are using a multifocal, we have no choice but to look away from the optical center to get into the reading portion of the lens. So again, we need to be um, a fairly large difference in prescription and our patient also needs to be wearing a multifocal. Uh, for purposes of our example, we're just going to use aligned bifocal, um, but we're going to start uh, a quick uh, set of math uh, for calculating vertical imbalance and then prescribing slab off. Now, anytime we're talking about vertical imbalance um, or uh, the prescribing of slab off, uh, we need to know the difference between uh, the prescription um, in the right eye uh, and in the left eye. And we need to know what those powers are at uh, the 90th meridian. Because remember, we're talking about vertical movement. So from the distance portion of the lens into the reading portion of the lens, we're moving vertically in the lens um, and that vertical meridian is the 90th meridian. So power at 90 first. Now, if it's spherical, like in our example, where uh, the right eye is a plus one and the left eye is a plus four, um, because they are spherical, uh, they are a plus one and a plus four at every meridian, including the 90th. The steps for calculating um, vertical imbalance uh, basically just says, what is the difference between the right and the left lens at 90? And in this particular case, we have a difference of three diopters. So three diopters is the amount of difference between our right and our left eye. Now vertical imbalance or slab off is also prism. So we're actually able to use our Prentice rule formula to calculate vertical imbalance. Now the standard says um, that we're gonna do power times displacement divided by 10. That's our Prentice rule. Now the important part of displacement or movement into the reading portion of the lens 
as it pertains to vertical imbalance says that that movement into the lens from distance to reading is 10 millimeters. So unless they tell you otherwise, we can assume that the patient had to look 10 millimeters below the optical center to get to the reading portion of the lens. Knowing that, we are then able to plug in that 10 millimeters of movement into our apprentice rule uh, equation and uh, calculate the amount of slab off required uh, to correct the imbalance between our patient's right and left lens. So if we grab our calculator, we do three times 10 divided by 10 equals three diopters. So three diopters of prism. And in this case, uh, slab off is what we would call that prism. And slab off is always base up. And it's always placed in the lens that is the least plus So least plus or the most minus. Now here we've got a plus one and a plus four. So the least plus. And in that particular case, the right eye is definitely the least of the two pluses. So we would say that this three diopters of slab off needs to be placed in the patient's right eye. And we learned that slab off is always base up, but we would not have to tell the lab that. Um, they're going to create that base up slab off um, in any case where slab off is required. So the right eye, three diopters of slab off will correct uh, this particular imbalance. Let's go ahead and turn to page 23 um, and just work through uh, the first example. Let's get our screen cleared off here and do a little math. So we have a right eye prescription of plus one, minus a quarter at 90. We have a left eye prescription of plus 550, minus a half at 90. Now, they were awfully nice to us here and we are currently sitting at 90 on both the right and left lens, which basically means that um, we don't need to use any of the cylinder uh, in this equation, because if our requested meridian is 90 and we're there, we've had zero degrees of travel, so 0% of the cylinder. So our right eye prescription is a plus one, and our left eye prescription is a plus 550. When we figure out the difference between our right and left lens, we've got two pluses here. Uh, so the amount of travel to get from the one uh, to the other, uh, if we're punching that in on the calculator, is actually just a simple subtraction. So we'll do 5.5 minus 1 gives us a difference of 4.5. So 4.5. Now, in our prescription, they did give us a plus three add. However, uh, we do not need the add power. If you notice, um, the uh, add is the same on both sides. So that means that uh, that difference in power is still exactly the same right to left. Now, they did not give us the reading distance or how far we had to travel to get into the reading portion of the lens. 
So again, it is assumed to be 10 millimeters. So that reading level or the travel to get into the reading, we've got that assumed 10 millimeters. So if we plug that into our apprentice rule, 4.5 times 10, that's the reading level, divided by 10, here's our apprentice rule equation, um, we're going to end up with an answer of 4.5. So 4.5 diopters of slab off. We learned that slab off is always base up. And we now have to determine which eye uh, should we put the slab off in. So least plus most minus. In this particular equation, again, we've got two pluses. The least of the two pluses is our plus one. So we would prescribe slab off of 4.5 diopters in our patient's right eye. Looking at example number two, um, they were not quite as kind. Uh, we do have a power other than um, axis 90. So let's go ahead and uh, work through this one really quickly. Right side is four and a half minus 50 at 180. Left side is plus a quarter minus a quarter at 180 as well. We know that we need to know what the power is at the 90th meridian. First step is to determine how far away our given axis is from our requested. Uh, and in this particular case, we are uh, 90 degrees away, which means that we'll be using 100% of the cylinder power. So sill and sphere added together are going to tell us that uh, in this particular case, let's grab our calculator, we've got uh, dissimilar signs. So four and a half uh, minus our half of a diopter puts us at a four. So on the right side, the power is plus four at 90. On the left side, again, uh, we're sitting currently at 180. We are 90 degrees away from the requested meridian and we'll be using 100% uh, of the add power, or sorry, the cylinder power. So we've got our sill combined with our sphere and uh, we've got a plus a quarter and a minus a quarter. Uh, so we're actually at Plano, or uh, if we're doing math, zero um, on the left side of our patient's lens. If we figure out uh, how far away those two are from each other, uh, four minus zero is four. So uh, four diopters of difference between the right and the left eye. So that is the imbalance. Again, we get to assume that 10 millimeter reading level and we can plug that into our apprentice rule. Four times 10 divided by 10 gives us uh, four diopters of slab off. Again, always base up. And we need the least plus or the most minus. Um, in this case, we don't have two pluses, um, but we do have a lens that's a lot less plus um, or Plano. So we would put the slab off in our patient's left lens. So four diopters of slab off would be prescribed for this patient uh, in the left eye. There is our slab off discussion. If you have any other questions regarding vertical imbalance and the prescription of slab off, please don't hesitate to call. Thanks, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.